Have you ever laughed so hard that your knees start wobbling? Maybe your legs even give out? You're laughing so hard that you can't move? Okay, maybe not the last part. But about 1 in 2000 do. Narcolepsy type 1 is the intrusion of REM sleep in hours of wakefulness. So what is REM? Well, during rapid eye movement sleep, you have vivid dreams, and your brain releases a fleet of chemicals to stop you from acting them out. Now, REM usually kicks in about an hour and a half after you fall asleep. But for those with narcolepsy type 1, it can happen up to 100 times a day. Think about it like this. In a non-narcoleptic human, the game is on between REM on and REM off neurotransmitters. Players on the REM on team, like GABA and acetylcholine, are on the offensive. The more they score, the closer the body gets to REM. These players are energized and multiplied with each strong emotion their host feels. Surprise, elation, and yes, laughter. On team REM off, Erexin players are defending the goal, working hard to keep their host awake. Yet, here, Erexin is at a severe disadvantage. There aren't enough players to defend the goal. With their strong emotion power-ups, REM on players score over and over again and eventually induce REM, even in the middle of the day. REM intrusions give rise to muscle atonia, which is normal when you're asleep, but known as cataplexy when you're awake. Cataplectic attacks are a common symptom of narcolepsy type 1. The origins of erexin deficiency are still up for debate, but many swine flu cases were associated with the development of narcolepsy. An epitope on the H1N1 virus closely resembled TRIB2, a protein in erexin-secreting neurons. In some swine flu patients, T-cell immunodefenders may have confused these for H1N1 and destroyed them, possibly classifying narcolepsy type 1 as an autoimmune disorder. A new drug, pitolicin, the only non-controlled substance treatment, acts on a different pathway to combat narcolepsy symptoms. By binding to presynaptic H3 receptors, pitolicin blocks histamine from inhibiting its own production and instead increases histamine production to promote wakefulness via the activation of the postsynaptic H1 receptor. While more research is needed to understand narcolepsy, the breakthroughs scientists have made offer insight and hope into viable paths